So far on opening day at the DeCoin State Fair, favorites have won seven of the nine races. Double wins for drivers Dale Heitman and Dave McGee. Right now the tenth and final race on the track. Here are the starters. Number one, Fox Valley Profile, owned by Katrina Rucker of Beecher and Martin Engel of Buffalo Grove, trained by Katrina Rucker, Sam Witcher in the bike. Two is Cabanero, owned by John Limparis of Palos Park and James Limparis of Naperville, trained by Teresa Ledford with Doug Hamilton driving. Ultimate Creation, number three, is owned by Willard Nelson of Morrison, Illinois, and Michael Dockendorf of Chicago, trained by Mark Franzen. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number four is Illegal Smile, owned by William Jones of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Five is Nick J. Cole, owned by Charles Lennon and Allen and Jacqueline Bowen of Mount Sterling, Allen Bowen, the trainer driver. Six is Callie's Candyman, owned by Chad Yoder of Osco, trained by Yoder, Brent Holland will drive. Number seven is Major's Porsche, owned by Arthur Levin and Shirley and Arthur Levin, Arthur III as well, of Hoffman Estates, Homer Hochstetler trains, and Eric Ledford drives. Mini Me, the Illinois State Fair champion for this division, owned by Bruce and Linda Greider and Roger and Dawn Sampson, trained by Roger Welch. Dave McGee is in the bike. And number nine is El Fuerte, owned by Jeffrey Driscoll of Carrollton and Dick Hess of Concord, trained by Jeff Driscoll. The driver is Dean McGee. Win, exacta, and trifecta wagering only, no place and no show wagering. A Governor's Cup elimination for Illinois bred two year old Pacers. The top five come back on Saturday for a shot at 100 grand. Post time is less than five minutes away. Skates rolling. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come for today's finale. They're off in pacing. There goes the favorite, Mini Me, on the far outside. Ultimate Creation is going to put him to the test in the opening eighth mile. Fox Valley Profile is there down toward the rail. Mini Me backs away into third. Fox Valley Profile up to get the lead now as they move around the first turn. Ultimate Creation drops in behind him in second. Mini Me settles third on the rail. Cabin Nero goes fourth. Illegal Smile is fifth. Gap of three more to Nick J. Cole in sixth as they race by the quarter mile mark. Callie's Candy Man is now in seventh position. The opening quarter went in 27 seconds flat. El Fuerte is next to last in Majors Porsche trails and here comes the favorite, Mini Me on the outside. From third to second and now blasting by the leader. Mini Me up to take command and McGee tries to throttle him down now. Dave is laying straight back in the race bike and Mini Me says, uh-uh, I'm rolling on and he opens up by seven, eight lengths now as Fox Valley Profile is quickly becoming a distant second to half in 55 seconds flat. They hit the far turn. Ultimate Creation is third. Cabanero fourth. El Fuerte is passing horses fifth, but he's nearly 20 lengths off the leader. Then Illegal Smile, Nick J. Cole on the inside, followed by Majors, Porsche, and Callie's Candyman. Mini Me approaching the three quarters on the lead by 10. Fox Valley Profile second on the inside of Ultimate Creation. El Fuerte goes three wide from fourth and is followed by Illegal Smile. Three quarters and 123 and three. Mini Me comes off the far turn with a dozen length lead to El Fuerte and Fox Valley Profile, Ultimate Creation and Callie's Candyman on the far outside. Moving into deep stretch, Mini Me, no big surprise here, he's much the best. Callie's Candyman is trying to grab second from El Fuerte. That's an ongoing battle, then Illegal Smile. But Mini Me comes home well in front of the field in 151 flat. Mini Me won it by nearly 18 lengths. It was El Fuerte second. Callie's Candyman was third, 151 flat. In the 10th race of the coin, that photo for place, number nine, El Fuerte was second. The sixth, Callie's Candyman, third. And the four, Illegal Smile was fourth. We'll talk to the winners exact in a moment. Exact to $7.60 on that 10th race. We'll have the trifecta in a moment. This shatters the stakes record by better than a full second, 151 flat. Here, folks, is truly an impressive two-year-old pacer, not just for Illinois, but he'd be impressive anywhere in the country. Many me, Dave McGee, the driver. Roger Welch, he's the trainer before he gets away. Roger? 
What is this cult capable of? I think a lot of people are starting to wonder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, including myself. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Yeah, you know, I, I really don't know. It's, you know, at Springfield, he impressed me a ton. Today, I mean, you know the weather conditions, no one around him. Uh, I'd like to see him pushed once. You know, he's still got the earplugs in and, you know, I'd like to see him make the history once. But uh, until, until we get more money, we're not worried about that. That's understandable. And before Dave McGee has to hop a plane for Chicago, we'll grab a quick word with him. Dave, looked like the cold about slung you out of the race bike. Did he even surprise you with that move on the backstretch? No, not a bit. I really have uh, a lot of confidence in this colt. He's uh, one of the finest colts I've ever raced. And uh, I think he, he just keeps proving himself. You and Roger made a good combination with him. He's now 8 for 8 lifetime. Good luck in that final on Saturday. We'll see if he can go 9 for 9. Thanks a lot, Kurt. Dave McGee, he's headed back to Chicago. He's the winner. We'll have the rundown next.